Ciao ragazzi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Ben and two months ago I moved from New York to Italy. Today's video is a little bit different than my usual videos. Today I'm going to be talking about things I wish I knew before I came to Italy. So let's get started with the video. First one is the language barrier and the language just in general. Of course, going to a new place with a new language is obviously going to be hard. That's I said obviously like twice. Um, of course, going to a new country with a new language. Oh my god. Going to a new country with a new language is obviously going to be hard and you're obviously going to struggle in the beginning. Like I went to the supermarket and I had to pay and Obviously, like for me in America, I literally just put in the card and they ask you on a receipt or not and that's the end of the story And here they literally did the same exact thing, but I didn't understand I didn't understand what they were asking what they were saying So it was obviously a lot harder for me in the supermarket and that's not only It's not the only thing that happened it's in many cases like you go out Someone asks you something and you just don't know and you feel useless or you just don't know anything yeah, that's what it feels like to move to a new country with a new language. Number two is COVID-19. Yes, coming to a new country as a foreign exchange student during this pandemic was going to be different. I personally didn't think it was going to be this different. I mean, we've been on lockdown for the past weekish so, over a week, and it's like really confusing because some days are red zones where you can't leave the house. Some days are orange zones where you can leave the house but only in your town. And then yellow is obviously the best where you can just do whatever you want. Everything's open and whatever. Today is a yellow zone. There's school right now, so I don't have a class right now, so that's why I'm filming. But maybe later I will be going out with my whole sister and maybe meeting a couple friends. But that is basically with COVID-19. Number three is actually something I thought my dumbass just thought that I was gonna come to Italy and like, yeah, I was gonna be able to do school and everything, but like, I was like, yeah, like it's gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna get to party 24 seven. I'm gonna get to hang out with friends and everything. It's not all fun and parties, especially during COVID. Like I haven't been to a party. I met some friends like, yeah, it's been so much fun. I've done so many fun things, but it's also been like, you have to focus on learning the language if you want everything to be fun. If you want to be able to understand everything, you have to learn the language. I have been studying a lot. I am making flashcards currently to better my Italian. I want to make a video on how to learn Italian much quicker than in general, so maybe that'll be the next one. Number four is homesickness. Homesickness is a real thing, guys. Like. I've probably been homesick a lot, like probably over five, ten times while being here. It's mostly hits hard during birthdays or holiday seasons. Like, I mean, it was Hanukkah and my host family doesn't celebrate Hanukkah. So it was like, it felt weird not being able to do something with my family at home and being so far away and not being able to talk 24 seven. It was hard. And also on my birthday, my birthday just passed. It just wasn't the same that my family wasn't with me and today is actually my sister's birthday and I am not with her So I feel like shit. Number five is going to sound a little weird when I say it, but I didn't come to Italy to change Italy So when I say that I mean like One thing that's different here. This is gonna be a very stupid like example, but at in America I eat lunch at 12 here they eat lunch at 2 so obviously I'm gonna have to adapt to it I can't change hey everyone in Italy we're gonna start eating lunch at 12 that's just like one one thing school is from 8 a.m. to 1:10 in my for me Monday through Friday I'm not gonna be hey I want to start school at 7 30 and end at 3 so I don't have to so I can have all my classes every day it doesn't work like that I have to adapt to this country to the new way of life here so that's also something I probably should have realized, but I didn't realize it was going to be this much of adapting. Obviously with my host family, they're not like my real family at home. It's a bunch of adapting. Number six also has to go with the first statement, which was the language barrier. Everything seems so much more difficult when you're in another country with a new language and just a new culture. I mean, like I said, going to the supermarket, it's so difficult. Like I can't communicate. Well, now it's getting easier, but it's so hard or it's like at home I'm used to eating chips or like I'm used to eating Pringles. I miss Pringles so much. Here I go to the supermarket, there's no Pringles. So what chips do I get? They don't even have chips. They barely have chips. They have one type of chips and like that's it. That's also something that's 
forgot. Right, okay. Um, something else is, this is obviously another very like stupid example, but school is obviously so much more difficult because it's in another language and the homework is so different. Here, I, here my school is like, I can have one class two times a week or one class one time a week and I have the whole week or a couple of days to do the homework, but the homework is long. Over break, I had like 10 hours of homework, but what can we do? I'm thankful for being here. Number seven, the last one I have is FOMA. Um, being here and having all my friends back at home really makes me like sad because I see everyone posting on Snapchat every day like, oh, hanging out here, going here, oh, we're in the city, and I'm just like, I want to be in the city, I want to be with you guys, like I miss you, but like I'm, I'm also do having like a great experience here, but just like seeing everyone post and like, yeah, party, yeah, this, yeah, that, it's just like, I'm all the way over here, I miss you guys. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. See you guys in the next video. Peace out.